I, I'm beginning to run out of breath, but... Okay, sorry, Silverback. Don't kick a team out for a first-year team that will not do that well. Let another team in. With so many minor teams to factory teams, we need another American team. Yeah, I agree. But look, I'm not talking about kicking out kicking out teams in particular. I'm actually what I mean is that I'm talking about team like the current teams like freezing out Michael and the Michael Andretti's team because they want to keep all of their prize money because the prize money only goes to the top ten teams in Formula One. That's what I meant. If I if I, if I did not make that clear, I apologize if I've been waffling a bit too long. I think this is the reason why Andretti can't get a spot in the grid because if they were to join the grid, it would blow it up to 11 teams. And of course, only 10 teams are eligible to win prize money depending on them finishing in the top 10 in the constructor standings. And you have to realize, of course, I think even if you join Formula One, like you don't get, you're not eligible for prize money in your first. Three years of competing in Formula 1, I think. Marco is terrible. Yep, yeah, absolutely agreed. I think, was it, two wins in about 15 years of racing in IndyCar. That's just really poor. And, I I mean, he looked like a decent talent, but then he dropped off so heavily after, like, 2011. He won his second race, and then he never won another race again, which is... Considering the, the level of machinery his dad gave him, that is really poor. Like, I don't understand how he could drop off so badly. And, I mean, he even tested a Formula One, a Honda Formula One car during 2007. And yet, for him to struggle like he's done with, despite all the opportunities his dad has given him, as well as his granddad... It's just very disappointing, and yeah, well, I think Marco Andretti these days is now only a, what's it, a part-time driver in IndyCar, because of course, I think after 2021, he, he dropped out of the top 20 drivers, and his dad t turned around and said, you're going to have to pay for your own seat now, because you really are not good enough anymore, which I think is absolutely what someone like Papa Stroll should do to Lance Stroll, to be honest. Wouldn't be surprised if Williams only raced one car, <laughs> one car again. Yeah, I mean, Williams really are taking the absolute biscuit with the way they're running their team. Backup driver in Indy, his dad is basically making him pay to be there. Yeah, I've already said that pretty much. Yeah, there's, yeah, I mean, but then again, we have to realise Mark Wendretti is now, how old is he, 37? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's way past it now. Blonde mind you, Lance Stroll is only 25 years old, but Lance Stroll has been in Formula 1 for about seven years now. Seven years, that's... I mean, do you know what Kimi Raikkonen had achieved by his seventh year in Formula 1? 15 race wins and a world championship win in 2007. Yeah, that's what Kimi Raikkonen had managed to achieve by his seventh year in Formula 1. Lance Stroll in seven years of Formula 1 has achieved just three podiums. Granted, he's only ever driven a Williams, a, a Racing Point, and an Aston Martin. Of course, none of which are what you would call championship contending cars, but... I mean, come on, Lance. I mean, when you compare to what Sergio Perez and Vettel and... Um, a lot of achieved in the cars he's driven. It's just not good enough. I mean, you know, Perez picked up a race win. I mean, Lance Storm arguably could have had at least three race victories in, what was it, um, 2020 with the pink Mercedes and blew all of them. I mean, you know, Alonso has picked up many podiums at Aston Martin. Vettel took a podium at 2021 Baku and should have taken a podium at Hungary if it wasn't for disqualification. And yeah, I mean, of course, you know, Straw has had flashes of talent, but you know, like, I just feel like I'm just talking in the same nonsense. It's just really boring. It wasn't Canada, by the way. That was actually 2017 uh, Baku when Bottas passed him on the line for second place, but. <laughs> 